Hello Geeks, this is Sai Prakash here and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today I am here to discuss a problem called as 1-3 to Geeky Buildings. So this is the 18th day problem of a 30 day Geeks for Geeks coding challenge. So the problem statement is that there are n buildings in linear land. They appear in a linear line one after the other and their heights are given by the values of the array. And Geek want to select 3 buildings in a linear land and remodel them as recreational spots. The third building has to be the taller and uh, taller than the first and shorter than the second. So this number one, two, three signifies how the uh, buildings are actually uh, are so their heights, right? So the first building is uh, is always be going to be the minimum building, so the building with the minimal height, and second building is going to be the middle ground uh, in terms of height, and uh, uh, sorry, the third building is going to be middle ground. Uh, my mistake. So and. Uh, Second building is going to be top of all, right? It is going to be the tallest building of uh, this uh, educational zone, right? So we will be given an array and we will be given the n that is the length of the array. So we have to return a boolean whether uh, it is uh, possible to create a recreational spot or not. So the problem statement looks simple and I'm not sure why it is called as a hard, but uh, let's try and solve this problem. So I'm going to use this approach since uh, the first building is always going to be the minimum one, right? So I'll, try, I'll always try to keep track of my uh, minimum uh, building. So what is the I'm going to use uh, uh, no uh, a variable that is uh, going to store my uh, uh, value of uh, first building that is minimum building from uh, left. And uh, while I'm traversing, I'm going to know to perform this check, right? So if, at, I'm, when I'm at eighth index. I'm going to check whether the buildings at i and i plus 1 are going to satisfy uh, the conditions for recreational zone or not. If that's the case, I'm going to return true or else uh, let's by default we're going to return false, right? So let's try and code it up. So I, as I said, so my first building is always going to store the minimum value of buildings. So I'm going to initialize with a higher value. You can probably do an infinity here. So for i in, so in range of n, so I'm going to no check uh, for the minimum value of my first building so it's going to be minimum of fi and uh, area of i so this is always going to be my uh, first building and i'm going to check if uh, area of i plus 1 that is uh, if whether i or area of i plus 1 is going to satisfy the conditions for my third building or not so it has to be uh, greater than sorry it has to be less than area of i because uh, if area of i plus 1 is third building right so it has to be less than the uh, second building and again it also has to satisfy the one condition so it has to be uh, it has to be greater than my uh, first building right so if that's the case we are going to return true in all the other conditions we are going to return uh, false and uh, yeah we have to also check for one thing so since we are trying for i plus one so there might be a chances where it is going to, i is going to run out of uh, bound so we might get an error that index out of the bound error so we are going to handle that so if uh, i not equal to n minus one then only perform these checks so i can simply give a tab space here yeah i think that's it uh, looks fine let's try and submit this it's true for the base case. Let's submit the solution. I shouldn't have closed at what? Yeah. Yeah, it is satisfied. Yes, and the solution is pretty simple. I'm not sure why it is uh, in the hard category, or maybe the test cases are not that hard because. Uh, I'm not sure but yeah anyway we were able to solve it and uh, our time complexity is uh, pretty good and I hope uh, this video was helpful and uh, if you find this video helpful please give a like and subscribe to geeks for geeks if you haven't subscribed and uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day we'll see you in the next video